it is very hard yeah. to keep your hands off a girl who is attracted to you and you're also attracted to and, and you're by yourself and you have got connected spiritually you're connect connected emotionally you're connected intellect intellectually and the only thing that you want to connect with is now physically and then you say just come over hey. come over where <laughs> talking about today today we're talking about something really, really really interesting and i think it affects a lot of people yeah shout out to joy nakato yeah. is that her name yeah joy nakato asked a great question she what was said, the question could you please talk about boundaries during dating to keep sexual purity mm. how do you navigate that if your partner's love language is physical touch mm. and yet you want to keep it pure till marriage mm. thanks again for the show Wow, Joy. Shout out to you, Joy. Great question. We by the way, you. by the way, if yeah. you want us to talk about anything, uh, Just let us know. Yeah, comment in the comment section. We're gonna read. If you have a dilemma, every... you want us to, you know, put it out there so people. Can Should I break up opinions? with my boyfriend? Is yeah. no, but yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. But Joy asked a great question. The first thing she asked is, how do we set up boundaries to avoid sexual temptation? I think she's kind of answered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So the answer is in the question, yeah. setting up boundaries, but then how do you set up boundaries yeah, might right, be right. a better question. Boundaries are so important when you're dating. Like when me and Joanne were dating, we dated for almost how many years? Five years? Five years. 2017. We're making seven years together this year. 2017. I feel like I've known 2018, you my whole life. 19, 20. 20. Got married in 2021. Yeah. So about five years of dating. And the only way we were able to do that was with boundaries, the Christian dating boundaries. Let Can me I talk say about this. that. You can't do this by yourself. Mm. You need the hand of the Lord. Because <laughs> Cause when you're looking at something so flesh, fine, the flesh so is weak. nice. <laughs> <laughs> the huh? spirit is willing, but huh? the flesh is really weak. It's really weak. Yeah. No, but when we talk about boundaries, I think you need to understand why you're even setting the boundaries. Because you're just setting up boundaries, just to set up boundaries you might kind of fall short, mm. you know, in doing so. But understanding the why. Why is it even important to set up, like, be sexually pure, mm. Josh? Why is it important? And then you will know to set up boundaries because you, you're, it's priority for you to be sexually pure mm. and for you to set up boundaries. So what is really why? Why? Why do we even need to be like sexually pure, Josh? Why do you not want to be? Because why impure? are we not out here? Why are we not here? Just dishing you know? it with everyone. Yeah. You know, sex is such an amazing thing that God gave us as human beings. It is a, it is a connection of a soul. It's, it's the closest you can ever be to someone, physically, spiritually, emotionally. And when you have a sexual interaction, you are exchanging souls. Like, you're exchanging souls. Have you ever heard someone say like, yeah, I broke up with him, but he's still on my mind. Or, you know, like I dated her a long time ago, but like every time I think of her, my heart, you know, stops. Because every time, <laughs> no, no, I'm being serious. People still, what is, what is it called? When, so, soul ties, yeah. Sex brings a soul joining. It's a it's a soul joining experience. It's not just a physical It's not thing. just a physical, yeah. I heard people say, oh, it's just sex. Yeah, it might feel like just sex, but go 10 years, you're still going to feel the effects you know, of that. You know when you say that, maybe I'm out of line here, or I'm completely wrong. But when you say something about, like, the when you say about, talk about sexual, anything, sexual activity is very spiritual. It's when people are, like, physically abused, like, sexually abused yeah. at a young age, mm. they literally have no idea what just happened mm. like it's not like they're just out five years old mm. you're not like excited to go in and about some with someone but when some when those kids are sexually abused you find that in the older age they start like you know going like they have a problem now of yeah. sleeping around with people it has such an impact on yeah. their life like it's not just oh i was a i was sexually abused but i got and over trying it. To heal. Yeah. oh you know 
it it but they become replicates. like sex addicts. Exactly. Actually, a lot of people that I've seen and, and talked to and counsel, uh, and they have an issue with like sex and sexual addiction, is they have been traumatized at a young it's age, a past, yeah. and so you look back at it and you realize, oh, so it happened when you were three years mm -hmm. old, but now you're 28 years old and mm -hmm. it's still happening, and you're still now going around sleeping with people. You can't yeah. stop. Oh, yeah. it happened when you were five, seven years old, yeah. but now you're 25 and this is still happening. And especially with the with the ladies, yeah. it has such an effect on them. It makes someone lose value in themselves mm. that they will go and sleep and around sleep, with everybody yeah. because they're not they don't value themselves yeah. and so like now when you're in a relationship and you guys are trying to date trying to learn about each other so that you can grow and you still have this dark past that you haven't dealt with and you're trying to be a christian but that that thing hasn't been dealt with that trauma hasn't been dealt with it becomes so hard to live pure and so like the one of the things i'm saying is like make sure that you as a person are good right mm -hmm. as josh i have to be i have to be good with who i am i cannot start dating someone's girl while i'm still going through that, all these yeah. things that i haven't i haven't i haven't that you're gonna need to satisfy mm -hmm. in that relationship and some you're gonna have to put a demand on that person exactly but what i was saying is the impact of mm. what sexual um, interactions can do at a young age when you don't you're not yeah. even conscious about it like it follows you and it makes you an addict and mm. it makes you keep going not just that's, even being an addict it can cause self-doubt it can cause that's how spiritual, yeah that's what i want to express the, the magnitude of how spiritual it is it's not just a physical thing that you hit and, and go and so when you're in a relationship when we say sexual purity it is important that you share that with somebody that you have you're in covenant with mm. because i don't know you share that side of yourself yes, with someone yes. that you're in covenant yeah. with mm -hmm. like um uh as i like you know when uh when uh when i look at the bible it shows that god created woman for man mm -hmm. one man one woman not man and man not woman and woman not three people living together God created man and a woman together. And it says for marriage. It says, for this reason, a man shall leave his house, leave his father, his mother, and cleave. Get a woman. So when you are in marriage, you are becoming one. And sex is one of those, those things that it the magnitude you. that binds you. So like you need to understand that this is not just an activity. This yes. is a binding union. Yes. And that's why like on the wedding night, it, it is a binding union. It's saying the two are becoming one it is it is a multiple effect once we understand the magnitude of it it's easier to to start to saying start, okay this is why boundaries. i'm gonna set up these yes, boundaries and yes. even you look at you look at women um the reason why they they you know what do they call it they bleed on their first time is because it's like a contract it's like a shedding of a blood like when in the old testament and they were making a, a covenant with god they will get a lamb and they'll cut it and it sheds the blood and it's like saying god oh, this is my deep stuff. this is my this right here yeah, is so my com covenant with you i have <laughs> shed blood i have committed something with you god now this is my life this is my arrangement with you that's and so, so when a man but comes with other, a woman not everybody bleeds you know when most people do okay 95 percent of the people do right yeah i guess most people do okay so when a man comes with a woman and that first time there's a beating it's like a covenant like we are together in this we have made this this thing and so when when you understand the importance of it you can it's go and set up the boundaries. the boundaries but what if you understand that mm. and it's so hard because her next question actually i think uh yep. poses, pauses it in a great way how do you navigate what if what what if your partner's love language is physical touch and yet you want to keep it pure till marriage so you've set the boundaries and okay. you're like this is it but we need to talk also like what uh, what boundaries do you set yeah we're gonna come to that okay so someone's physical touch uh -huh. right exactly obviously there's when we talk about boundaries anything is it starts with like just physical. a little thing and then it builds up it builds up so what if someone's love language is physical touch what boundaries do you even set? Mm. Because this can set them off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
it is. I'm being serious. Holding someone's yeah, hand and then you exactly you squeeze it like this yeah, and then chills sit. come on exactly. the spine. It can <laughs> set them up. So what boundaries are we really talking about? Especially when someone's loving you. That's a great question. I mm -hmm. think we need to just learn to self-control. No, but uh, <laughs> what's wrong with you? <laughs> no, what I've learned is when you are when you are closer to God. Yeah. He gives you the strength to self-control. Yeah. When you're farther from God, it, He does not. You don't. Ha you have to control it on your own. That's and why it's I've called the fruit of the spirit. Fruit of the spirit. Because you have spirit. to be. Yeah. You have to be. God is the one that gives you, especially in today's dating culture, because back in the day, mm -hmm. during these times where the Bible was written, you never got to even see the girl till the day you were married, yeah. or you would be seeing Seriously? each other. But anytime you see each other, you're with like ten people just looking at you. Mm -hmm. And so you can't even have a deep conversation. You don't even. Know. You wouldn't handle that. I'm telling. <laughs> but like that's how it was back in the day. But yeah. in today's culture, you guys are having phones with yeah. pictures. Yeah. And videos. Yeah. I'm talking like, he's to not someone. I'm gonna touch, but I'm gonna send some pictures. Uh huh. And so you got Snapchat and WhatsApp and yeah. video calls. And so people are going in different places by themselves to people. So you yourself have to know your weaknesses. Yeah. And That's determine. Good. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> If if Joanne comes out here, see we married, so we can do this. Joanne comes out here and she puts her hand on my thigh. <laughs> that's not okay for yeah. me as a single yes. man that's tr trying to date this daughter of God. So right? in terms of boundaries, mm -hmm. you're going to say, babe, no touching. No touching my thigh. Yeah. Ever. Okay. <laughs> you want to touch my thigh? Put a ring on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If, 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 if I go here and then uh, I want to go down here, you know what I'm saying? So you have to just say, okay, if my thing is touching. Hold hands, but we're not going to hold hands under a pillow or in yeah, a cupboard. We're yeah. going to hold hands like this. And we're not okay. going to hang out by ourselves. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That is the greatest deterrent for, uh, for people who are dating, Christians who are dating. Yeah. Let me tell you something. The things... Now, we're going to pray together. Mm-mm. Let's go somewhere, girl. We Let's go pray. Together. <laughs> Listen, I don't care who this man is and if he says he's a man of God. God and you see him praying every day. You know, I've seen men of God literally lie, not lie, but like convince their significant other that it's okay because they are men of God and that it has come from them to do whatever it fire. is that the woman says. Fire, fire, fire. And the girl is like, wait, I thought this is not okay. But you know what? I trust him because he's, he's a, man a man of, of he's God. He's gone deep he in the spirit. He has gone deep in the spirit. And he's like, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I, I haven't read it by, properly. By the way, one of the greatest weapons the enemy uses to destroy marriages yeah. and destroy God's people, especially men of God, is sexual temptation. Yeah. Because when you are elevated to a high place, Everyone is going to see you. All the girls in the church want you. All these things. By the way, when Joanne was in America, and I was just starting up in ministry here. Who? <laughs> I was getting a lot of attention. Actually, Ooh. I got a lot of attention. Where? Where? By the way, I got a lot of attention. I know you say that mm -hmm. all the time. I got a lot of attention from all these amazing people of God, but I was still dating Joanne, so I was faithful. But Are you bad? I, got, I got a lot of attention. But when a man is of God is like elevated, people look to them and they trust in them. Any man, and they, not yeah, just men of God. And, and, and they, can, they, can, they can use that as an advantage to, to lure people away from God. And yeah. they'll do it in secret. They'll do it one-on-one, -on -one, but on stage they'll look powerful and it, it destroys, it destroys the, the, their testimony. Yeah. So back to hanging out by yourselves. Back to hanging out by yourselves. It is the fundamental deterrent for any sexual mm -hmm. temptation. The fundamental deterrent for any sexual temptation yeah. is not being by yourself. Because listen, Nzenkugamba, mm -hmm. Nzenkugambi, one of the two. I'm telling you as a brother, 
let me tell you, it is very hard yeah. to keep your hands off a girl who is attracted to you and you're also attracted to. And, and you're, you're by yourself. And you have got connected spiritually. You have connect, connected emotionally. You have connected intellect, intellectually. And the only thing that you want to connect with is now physically. Sheesh. And then you say, just come over. Hey. Come over where? <laughs> No, we, me and Joanne, we had this rule, like, let's not hang up by ourselves. Mm -hmm. We had that rule, and that's the rule that kept us. And I don't care, like, yeah, you can be praying, good for you for being a praying man, good for you for being a praying woman. But what protected us is we said no hanging out together. Now, there's a man, of, friend of ours, mm -hmm. great man of God. Yeah. Everyone knew this man as the man of God. You know who I'm talking about? Are you really going there? <laughs> I'm not saying anyone's names, yeah, but, but it's the truth. You're dropping like, the pin. I'm, I'm gonna show you're dropping I'm, the location. I wanna show, I wanna show, I wanna show the truth. So yeah. this guy, great guy, does great things, good in school. People know him, people love him, people go to his house and they worship, and his house is a place where God comes and meets people. There's yeah. so many testimonies. And so we heard about this, and we're like, dude, that's amazing. Right? We went there ourselves. Yeah. Joanne dragged me there one time. I didn't want to go. But uh, during this, we found out that this young guy is living with his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Like married people. Like, ma like they're living together in his apartment. He's not married. But they're like married. And I looked at Joanne and I said, Joanne, seriously? Yeah. Because like, we were in the same boat, right? Yeah. We were in the same boat. Like we weren't married, but we we're going to school. But Joanne, I was living in the dorms. She was living in the dorms. I had my apartment. But... This, when I heard that, wait, this guy is doing it? I was like, no, there's, there's no way. There is no way. Because every one of his followers was like, no, these guys are men of God. They're yeah. keeping it pure. I was like, there's no way that you're going to live in a house with, with a woman that, you, that like. you are attracted to and that you like, and you're not going to try something funny. I don't care who you, you are. are. I do not care. If you have a big church, if you have. So I told, I told, I told, I told our friend, I was like, bro. I was like, you know what's happening, right? I can't be a part of this. I can't go to this ministry. I can't be a part of what he's doing. Because because no Because I know there's no way mm. it's possible. And people are like, ja, just your line. You, this guy is a prayer warrior. This guy is preaching. This guy is doing this. This guy knows the Bible from back to front. I say, he knows the Bible. He's not living it. Yeah. Because the Bible says, run from sexual temptation. Yeah. Like, you're not running. You're walking into it and saying, hmm, yeah. this is going to be okay. Yeah. You're literally saying this, like, yeah, I'm an overcomer. The power of God that is upon my life. No right. temptation is good. No, God says run. Right. You know, you know, that's the one thing I know. It says run. run. And so, uh, yeah. Anyways, turns out much later, we were right. <laughs> it turned out very bad. Um, sadly. Sadly, yeah. I don't know the details. What were the details? No, I don't want to talk about the details. But it turned out it bad. Did, it didn't work. It didn't work, and sadly to say so, but I, I don't think for any woman um, it's okay for somebody to woo, eh? woo you into thinking other, like, like, no, it's okay. Maybe before you like touching here and there was not okay, and then before you know it, someone's the like, progression. yeah, it, it's fine, just this one time. And then the one time becomes, you know, you keep going on the uh, something. The seduction, the, the seduction and you know, the temptation. Exactly. So what happens is the first time you might feel bad, and then the second time, yeah, you feel bad, but not as bad. Then the third time, I feel bad, but mm. by the fourth time, you don't feel anything at all. Right, and yeah. by the time you feel nothing at all, then it goes even farther, even farther. And with Christian couples, especially, you don't really just start off with sex. It starts off with making out. Yeah. After making out, now you're touching everywhere. Yeah. After touching everywhere, you're going to oral sex. After hey. oral sex, you're going to full on, and you're like, with the principle. That's how you know all of the, this. Because I've seen it. The principles, the principles that I started with, yeah. are not how I'm living my life. Mm -hmm. And so many people I live there. And see, like for me, as an example, I think that's what she's trying to say. The reason why I'm not with another woman is because this exact thing happened to me. I never had sex with someone, but everything else. This is a real show, so I'm gonna be real. Everything else we did. With and your ex-girl? With my ex-girlfriend, and Joanne knows about all of it. And um, it started out small, 
and then it just went to a place that of no return. And um, I've seen it not just in my life, but in my other brother's life. I have so many men that love God, but this has been a weakness in their life. They keep, you know, and so that it ruins your testimony. It ruins. Your Did testimony. you consider yourself sexually pure even after then? Even I felt I felt I was not sexually pure, but I was better than other people who had you sex. Had not had perfect. Yeah, right. but I wasn't pure. We have a we have a virgin. What is it like? Okay, I'm I'm a virgin, but you're not sexually pure. Good. That's right. Good. Oh, I have never had sex before, but, but you're, you're not, not pure, pure, bro. You're, you're not. You're not pure. Sending you're, pictures. And you're out here being touched everywhere, every corner of your body. <laughs> yeah, so those are for the girls. You're yeah. out here, gentlemen, yeah. doing all these crazy stuff. Yeah. Right? And you say, oh, but I've never, I've never penetrated, right? I've never, mm -hmm. I've never had the sex. But like, bro, what have you been doing? Mm -hmm. you, you, don't, you, you don't consider yourself pure, even if that hasn't happened. Because mm -hmm. those, those interactions still give off. I like what you said. Mm. Know your weaknesses and know that you're not strong enough. I mm. think... Um, Jay's dad always says that you're not strong. You're not that you're strong. Not strong enough. You're not that strong. I don't care how much you pray a day. You're not that strong. So resist the enemy by running away, and he will flee from. Don't, like run. Don't. No. 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 This one, you run away. I know. I know. But <laughs> resist. Like don't even let it come. Don't you. enter the boxing don't ring. Enter. The second you find yourself fighting temptation, yes. get out of get that. Out of it. Atmosphere. So don't hang out with somebody behind closed doors by yourself. Don't um, start with, you know, one pecking, thing pecking, and then exactly touching, touching. going for further. If you're hanging out with somebody, make sure that there are people to hold you accountable. Make sure you're not, you know, out here dressing like mm? whatever it is. I mean, I don't care about outfits, but as long no, as it's not you, setting the other person off, off yeah. you know. If you, if I mean, if I wore something and it sets one thing can set you off, and then it will not set the other person off. But if you know your partner and you know that this is what sets them off, don't don't do it, please. And also, you're in this together. Yeah. You have to be on the same page. Yeah. Because you cannot be fighting something and then the other person is bringing the same thing. No, all the temptations. Yeah. <laughs> And he's like, hey, baby, I know. what's up? Are you, are you trying? No, but like, I've yeah. seen that, like, people be like, one person's like, I'm trying to do right. And then the guy usually, 90% is the guy. The guy's like, baby, it's okay. Yeah. Just a kiss here. Yeah. Mm, just a, you know, all these yeah. kinds of things. So you got to make sure you're with a man yeah. that is trying to do the same thing. Like, yeah. study your guy, study him, make sure they are up to principle. And if they're not on the same page, and this is something that you're really communicating, this is your need. And this is a non-negotiable, and they're not respecting it. Red flag, run. Yeah. Because that's not gonna change. I mean, it's just in this one sector. When you get married, it's even gonna be like in everything. Mm -hmm. Somebody has to be able to compromise and be like, okay, I would have loved this, but because my partner is like this is so so important to them, I have to meet them in the middle. Maybe they're not like the most. They're not going to be like on top of their game but at least like show that they're trying like they're not For gonna sure. wear um you know seductive clothes they're not gonna be touching you they're not gonna be tempting you in that gray way. sweatpants exactly exactly mini skirts <laughs> exactly but, but bro why? Yeah, why go together and communicate that someone will say i'm advertising that. what he's gonna see in marriage no we don't need to see we, yeah. we see your face and yeah. that's all we need yeah. to know now i was saying is this that understanding like when Joanne said I am not strong enough it's like a, a guy goes into a weight room and is practicing and he spends five years lifting yeah. weights and prayer and all this but there's an enemy that as no matter how many weights you lift no matter how big your muscles are you will never be able to beat this enemy the mm -hmm. only way you can win is not fighting it yeah like don't that, fight something that is going to take you out. You don't need to fight. Some, whenever you find yourself struggling, like, hmm, what should I do? I want to kiss her. I don't want to kiss her. I want to touch her. I want to touch her. You already know. You're already fighting what it. What do you do in that way? That way you leave. Like I said, babe, um, I'm sorry. I got to go. How many times did I say that when yeah. we're dating? I said, babe, I got to go. Like, what? What do I do? No, it's like nothing against yeah. you. I just got to go. I, 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 I got to go. I can't be in this place. It's just, it's just, and you know, the, 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 the highest time that you're going to fight this is right before the wedding. 
that oh. engagement time. Woo! Woo! Once I, <laughs> once I put the ring on to Joanne's finger, man, the height of the temptations was, I just saw Joanne as the most delicious <laughs> meal in the entire world. And if I was not <laughs> with her, if I wasn't even close to her, I was like, man, this is gonna be hard. And so, yeah, it was during COVID time, so we had to talk a lot on the phone and everything and, and keeping each other strong. Like, keeping each other strong mm -hmm. is, is very fundamental, what Joanne I said. I think it's very doable. Mm -hmm. It's very doable if both of you are in the same playing field, but it's very impossible when one is trying, and especially with the girls, they want to keep it to themselves, like they're not going to communicate. Because if they communicate, maybe they the guy's the gonna guy run away. away. It's okay. But that's not up to you to dictate. If they run away, then great. That was not meant for you. Because somebody that really loves you and honors you is gonna wait for you Listen. and gonna honor your mm. needs. Mm. But if you're scared of communicating what your needs are because you wanna entertain, you want to um, accommodate you, you the want other person mm. and you don't want him to leave then I think that's a big problem. It's a red flag. Yeah. If a man does not respect you when he's dating you, he's not going to respect you when, when you're married. married. And, it, and he's going to go, I'm telling this is, let me tell you, this is what we are as men. I'm going to report on an us men. Mm -hmm. If we do not value when we're dating you, we're not going to value when we're married to you. And you need that value in marriage. I'm telling you, it is so crucial because... Um, in marriage, you see everything. You're going to see everything. Things you didn't see when you were dating, you're going to see it when you're married, mm -hmm. right? You're going to see her without her hair, right? You're going to see someone when walking by, <laughs> you see someone in the bathroom, right? You're going to see everything. It's not glamorous as dating. Mm -hmm. So it's easier for someone to devalue after marriage than it is before. So you know it's going to only get harder. Yeah. So if it's this hard already, and you're not even married... Don't trade the water. Bro, yeah. girl, I'm telling you, I'm yeah. telling you. And that, those kinds of men, let them go. Let them go. There are many other chicks out there that are not trying to live the life you're trying to live. There are many yeah. girls out there, let them go find one of them. But for you, and what you want to do in your life, and where God has called you to be as a woman of stay God... Stay focused. You got to say, no, this is my line. This is my standard. I have... This. And, yeah, and if the, the man is gonna respect you or is gonna leave. And 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 here's the thing. I think what this question really, it it, it it's kind of hard because if someone's love language is really physical touch, mm. and without physical touch, like just without words of affirmation, you don't feel valued. You mm. don't feel loved enough. And without act of service, you feel like someone's really doing you a disservice. Mm. So. Without physical touch, someone's really feeling unloved. Mm. How do you handle that? You do physical touch, but physical <laughs> touch doesn't have to be sexual. You okay. have to know the but boundaries. Remember, it that's sets where them the off. The bound no it sets who off? The physical touch person? Yeah. No, that's not how it is. Physical touch doesn't need to be groping and hugging all the time. Yeah. You don't have to hug and squeeze and cuddle. Those yeah. are all some guys say, Yeah, you know uh, my, my love language is physical touch. Yeah. No, you don't need to cuddle. You can just be Holding hands. In public. Yeah, hold hands in public. This is this is good. Put, put, even do even do this. Yeah? The Lord. Even you know, do this. Give a long hug when you see each other. Oh, I missed you so much. Since last night I haven't seen you. Since last right? night. Right? What were you doing at night? <laughs> whatever, whatever it is, but yeah. don't now don't go and just grab and, and yeah. touch and yeah. squeeze. No, 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 no. You can set those okay. boundaries. So I think that has been made clear. Yeah. Yeah. Joy Nakato, you are MVP for asking this question. Yeah. I think a lot of people are going to be blessed. By the way, yeah. I want to speak to the men. Mm -hmm. Men, your position in a Christian dating relationship Come is on, to man. lead, not to follow. Wow. Not, to, not to see what is going on and then make a decision. Mm -hmm. So in terms of having sexual purity, it is not up to the girl to say, this is my line. It is up to you to say this is the line. Set the boundary, lead the way. We're don't just wait. helpers. Don't wait for the woman yeah. to, to, to be the one to say, okay, this is where we need to stop. No, mm -hmm. no, it's you. Make, be that place, be that solid foundation that she can trust. Mm -hmm. And then when you're weak and you're placed a boundary, if you have a good woman, she'll be able to help you out. 
So you got to be making sure that the woman that you're with is someone that can help you out because it's going to show the type of woman she is in the marriage. Is she going to be a woman that is going to speak ill of you or she's someone that's going to encourage you, push you forward? That's a good way to know. And I remember when I was weak, Joanne, and there were times when I was weak. I'm going to be just red hot honest. There were times when I was weak and I was like, yo, girl, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but get and, away from here. And then Joanne would be like, babe, you set the standard, yeah. you set the line. You know, and this was especially during like, right, right before we got married. Right before there was so after much. After the engagement. The, after the engagement, there was so much like, there's so much. Uh, so, and that's when I realized, man, this is going to be a great wife. She's going to hold me accountable to the standard that I've set, even when I am weak in that own standard. So I appreciate you for that. But one more thing I want to say before I hand it over. Okay. If you have a girl. That when you set your standard and mm. she's always trying to come on this side, you better run as a man. You better run. If your girl is always trying to seduce you, if she's, if she's wearing provocative things, if she's sending you pictures and, and inappropriate things, just trying to suggest and trying to do that, you better run. Because people like that, girls like that, they, 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 they feed funny. off the fall of a man. They feed up a fall of it's a man a losing self-control. When a man loses self-control, if, 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 if the man was like, yeah, 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 anyone, anyone, they, they wouldn't want them. They want the men who are trying to be, do right, strong. who are trying to be strong. Those are the men that they want. And, and you, in most cases, sorry to cut you yeah, short, no, go ahead. but in most cases, those girls, because they can't be women, those girls... <laughs> okay, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> those girls are not just you know, with one man, yeah. like they're not just with you, because if you find pleasure in pulling a guy down or seeing or how, how far they can go or how, um, how you can, it's a game. Yeah. yeah. It's a game for them. And so you're not just the only one that they're they trying to in put the church. in. Yeah. They'd be in the church. They're trying to they be seduce everyone for them. Team. Exactly. <laughs> they be on the ushering. <laughs> they, they be, be on the uh, you better hey, be careful. Hey. I'm telling you, just because she go to church, man. Yeah. No, but they're not just seeing you. And they'll do the best. They'll do the best to act all like she's spiritual. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She'll mm -hmm. act all nice and everything till you get personal. Then you'll be like, oh, there was yeah. a girl. Mm -hmm. There was a girl. Oh, I just remember this. There was a girl who used to always. To you? No, no, to me. Oh. You know what her name. This? I'm not gonna say her name here, but we'll talk about okay, it off okay, camera. Okay. I told you this. Okay. So, um, uh, who? She was just a great girl. She was serving in every department. She was just giving, and we would we were starting awakening, and she would be like, "Pastor Josh, can I clean your office?" And my office is kind of dirty. So I'm like, "Yeah, go ahead, clean it." And every time she came in, I'll have to step out because mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be found alone with a woman that's not my wife. <laughs> what do you think? So I'm stepping out every single time she comes. I'm stepping out, but like she would always. Like try something for me to like notice her body. Like one time she's like mopping or and then she like bends over and I'm like, okay, I'm not <laughs> I'm not seeing this. And then my mom's like, mm, that girl. Mm-mm. Yeah. My mom said, mm-mm, that girl. So I was like, all right, cool. Mama said something. All right. So I said, I'm never gonna talk to her again. Like simply simple as that. That's yeah. how much I run away. So I said, I'm never talking to her again. But she would always be there in church, serving, yeah, serving I mean. different teams. She was, I, I put her on the leadership team because she was doing great. And she would talk to the people. She was part of the care team. She was great. And then the second Joanne came back from the States, she left. Which we? You know who I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. She left. Why? Because she was trying to do something. She was trying to get far. But I, got, like, I, I put up my boundaries, so it never was an option. But yeah. I don't know if that's what she was trying to do. But I'm telling you, that's what I feel like she was trying to yeah. do. So you just got to be careful. Don't matter where be they careful. are. Be careful. Be careful. And if you're a girl out there, like you literally feed off um, having Attention. as many men on your... DMs. On your, in your DMs as like possible. Like the slay queens. You got to heal, girl. Like, mm. you really have to do the internal these, work. These are the people that we talked about early in the show that might have been going through some sexual yes, trauma when yes, they were kids. Yes, Something is not right. Yeah. It, it, there's no way that you should be out here acting like Advertising that. Advertising your body. Exactly, exactly. And trying to find... And then they act like... It's crazy because they act like, all oh, these guys want me. Girl... 
it's you out here trying to, you know, seduce and, you know, yeah. giving eyes and, you know, talking to, to this, every guy. Yeah, to every guy. And then in, in the public, you want to tell all your girls, like, he likes me. Yeah. You're leading this guy them was on. calling me last night. Exactly. Yeah, You're because leading you them lead on. them on. Yeah, so be careful and heal. The, the issue heal. is they find value in someone else uh, finding them attractive. Yeah. And... And sleeping with someone gives them value. So when they when they see someone, um, they're like, man, if I can get him, that yeah. means I'm pretty. Yeah. If I yeah. can get him, that means I'm worth even it. Even a married man. If that, even a married man. So this thing, by the way, this game don't stop. Like yeah. fleeing sexual temptation, it don't stop. stop. It's you. It's a lifeline, lifetime decision. Me and Joe, you're not gonna find me anytime we'll talk with a about woman. That later. I know. I'm just saying right now, you're never gonna find me with a woman that's not my wife. Yeah. Not in my car, not in my house, not, not in, in my office, office not just, you will never find me with not a woman. That's just my decision. I, I do, I'm following in the steps of my father. Yeah. That's what protected him. And when I when you trust in yourself, you see this like that's why these big pastors you see them fall because they do that big kind of people, stuff. Not just pastors. Big pastors, just leaders, leaders, yeah. family. Men don't get married planning to cheat. Yeah. So what does that tell you? That cheating is a very, very viable option of the enemy to destroy a You're family. You're not that strong. You're not that strong. But here's another category of, before Even we women. close, mm. that I want to really encourage and talk about. It's the people, the girls that um, kind of have been dealt the lower hand. Is, mm. it? is that what mm -hmm. they say? And they feel like they don't bad have... Bad cards. They yes, have bad cards. They, they feel like maybe they're... Uh, their family is not present. Mm. They don't have the finances. Mm. They don't have the background. Mm. And they've kind of found this guy who kind of provides for them in a somewhat, you know, great way that no one else is doing. Mm -hmm. This person has been there for them in ways that no one has been. And in doing so, they feel like they it's have just, to compromise. It's like a payment. It's yes, like it's a, like a payment. This is what I have to yeah, do. Yeah, this is what I have to, to keep it going. Yeah. And here's what I'm going to say. You don't have to stay in that relationship. Please run because you, girl, are much more valuable than you think. You can elevate yourself. You can tap into the person. You can tap into the better version of yourself if you actually try. Yeah. You can do your homework and see what your inner self, what satisfies your inner self the Lord and other things that, you know, that, that satisfy you, not satisfy you, that, that make you who you are. Mm. And when you tr tap into that, you can elevate your life and become even bigger than you ever imagined. Come on. So you don't have to stay in that way because you want to, you know, facilitate yourself. This is the only place this that I get. This is how I get my transport. This is how I get my transport. This is how I get my nails done. This is how I feed this myself. This is how I feed myself. This is it, girl. You're better than that. Yeah. So... Please do the work, do the internal work, and get out of there. Elevate your life. See what makes you you, and you'll see. You'll be surprised at how better your life will be. Value yourself as a person, mm -hmm. and that's what we come down to when we talk about sexual purity. Like, as a man, like, being in control of yourself. Yes. Like, the, 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 the confidence that you get in, like, understanding, like, yeah, I might be attracted, but mm -hmm. there's nothing they can do to me. Yeah. And being a woman saying, I'm not going to sell my body. I know my value. Mm. The sexual purity goes beyond just, okay, Glovimo, I'm a virgin. No, it goes beyond that. It is so much deep, deeper, and it develops you as a man or as a woman. And it prepares you for marriage. Yeah. Because if you are lustful when you're dating, you're going to be lustful when you're married. Right. And the lust is not going to go to your wife because that's how God designed outside. it. God is got the enemy is going to plan for it to go outside. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So when you're not married, when you're not married, the enemy's plan is for your lust to be towards someone that you're not married to. But the second you're married to that person, the lust is lust is a spirit of evil. So it's gonna go towards something outside, outside. of what God designed. Yeah. So if you don't get it down now, you're gonna have to pay for it in the future. So I just wanna pray. Wait, there are people who are mm. truly like, okay, you're y'all are saying this, but I already crossed the line. Yeah. Okay. I already did whatever I, I did. I did A, B, C, C and D. Don't and forget B. E, F, G. Yeah, all of it. I've done it all. Yeah, and I would really want to 
you know, get back on path. But I think it's already late for me. Mm. And um, yeah, I mean, if I've gone this far, I might as well. Might as well keep, keep doing, doing it. it. I've already because, crossed the line. Yeah, exactly. I'm already not a virgin. Yeah, so how so, can I be sexually pure? Exactly. But, Pastor, you want to say something about this? No, I want to say something like there is a God that we serve and his name is Jesus Christ. Come on and now. because he died on the cross, every sin that you've committed can be wiped Captive. away. And it does not hold any yeah. account for you. Remember, mm -hmm. this is a spiritual thing. It's not just a physical thing. Yeah. He wipes away the, the sin as far as the East is from the West. He wipes away Every shame. sexual immorality mm. wipes away shame, wipes away uh, 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 guilt. guilt, and everything that you've ever done, he takes it away. That it is makes the power you a new creature. of grace. That is the power of grace. Yeah. And when you step into God's presence, don't pretend mm -hmm. don't act all holy and righteous when you know what you were doing on saturday night yeah just be like god this is where i am this is what i've done and this is and that's a process i had to go to before i went I, I i talked to joanne like i really crossed boundaries that i never thought i would cross yeah. I, I i decided in my mind that i was going to be sexually pure Sex sexually pure when i when i got married but i mistook it for virginity so I never had sex, but I wasn't pure. Mm. Does that make sense? I never had sex, but I wasn't pure. And, and it messed me up. And so I had to go before God again and be like, God, it's your boy. I messed me up. Me again. I, did, I didn't do the right thing. And I, I'm just, With the same problem. Yeah. And I need your, I need your grace to come yeah. help me. Help me fight this. Help me learn yeah. how to run away from sexual temptation. Mm -hmm. And when I did that, it changed my life. It made me a better person. Mm -hmm. And then now look at my wife. Beautiful, amazing. So I got more than what I deserve. And that's what grace is. Yeah. I don't get the punishment of my sin. I get forgiveness of my sin. And I get more than what I deserve. What am I saying? It doesn't matter what you've done. You can come back to Jesus and he can set you Free. And give and, you a better life. Yeah, give you a better life, but also keep you pure. You, like, ah, this is so good. So even if you are a virgin, even if you're not a virgin, you can be a spiritual virgin. He That's cuts good. the soul ties. Yeah. And, 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 and it makes you everything a new that everything that you did do, it doesn't apply to you. You can be forty years old and be a virgin. Yeah. In the spirit, God will cut everything off. That's the power of God oh, that we're walking. So I want to pray after that. Let's do it. You want to pray first? It. Sure. And then I'll pray second. Come yeah, on. Yeah, dear Lord, we're just thankful yeah. that you're a God of restoration, that mm. you're a God of redemption. And I just pray for everyone here um, feeling like they're, they've done so much, that they're, uh, they've come a long way, the wrong way, and they feel like it's, why, why, why change? Why become better. I, I might as well just keep doing what I'm doing. God, I pray, Father, that you will just show them how much you love them, that you will give them chance over chance over chance, Lord, that you will bring clarity in their life, God, that you will take away the guilt, that you will take away the shame, and that you will bring a new mindset, mm. a new um, a new spirit in them, that you will cleanse their hearts, cleanse their memory of anything that is unrighteous, anything that just keeps holding them down and brings them, you know, brings them into captive into captivity. God, I pray, Father, that you will just show them what their new life looks like, God, yeah. and that they will trust you moving forward. I pray this because I know, Father, that there's just so much ahead of them, and I pray, Father, that they're able to see it in you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, I just confirm and reaffirm everything Joanne just said. I pray mm -hmm. for redemption. I pray for peace. I pray for restoration mm -hmm. in the lives of your people over their sexuality. I pray, God, that you will just shine a new light on the importance and the value of keeping pure and what purity really means in in dating and 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 before marriage god that you made marriage for this purpose of sex but god i pray that in your name everything that has been done outside of marriage would be canceled off the lives of your mm -hmm. people we break every soul tie we break every union of the spirit with someone else that has 
that has captivated our lives, every porn addiction, every sexual addiction, every shame, every guilt that has been applied to your people, we break it off in the name of Jesus now. And we declare freedom, and we declare purity, and we declare grace that goes even beyond our own understanding. I thank you for the power of the cross that changes our lives, and the power of Jesus that transforms our lives. I thank you, God, that from today we will walk in sexual purity, mm -hmm. and we will live lives that bring glory to your name name we thank you in jesus name amen amen hey guys we love you thank you for that man this has been such a yeah i loved it because it was such a spirit-filled time and uh, we're gonna do more of these we're gonna do more of these make sure you like comment subscribe if you have any questions situationships dilemmas things that you want us to talk about let us know. put it in the comments let put it in the know. comments no matter who you are we're gonna talk we're we gonna we're gonna get it down yeah it's been a pleasure been a pleasure okay Till come next time give me a kiss so that they can see the fruits of sexual purity <laughs> all right love you guys